Good evening, everyone. I'm sorry I've been absent from YouTube for month. I was busy, I had to do a shoot in Norway on Orcas for six weeks, and then I went uh, on another shoot very far in a remote place. I had no time, but I'm here. I met these lovely people that just cruise the Pacific and they sail all around the world. They just got retired at age 35 years, you know, <laughs> so they understood life. So this is a link to their um, uh, YouTube channel. Just uh, if you want uh, to know more about uh, sailing adventures, go and visit them. For now, let's go back to the main story, crocodiles. these pictures by the way scary you know now let's go back to the delta of the Okavango in 2007 when I first decided to film the Nile crocodile donc je suis déjà venu ici l'an dernier j'étais tout seul puisque le plongeur qui devait plonger avec moi un gars d'Afrique du Sud euh, bah, c'est un peu désisté donc euh, cette année je suis revenu avec euh, avec Roger un photographe aussi d'Afrique du Sud, donc euh, on a chacun une caméra, là moi j'ai bah, la chance, j'ai la plus grosse, donc euh, <rire> si le crocodile ouvre la, ouvre la gueule, je lui mettrai ma, ma caméra dedans. Roger, il a une petite caméra, donc il a, il a moins de protection, ça sera plus compliqué. <rire> Allez, on a tous nos trucs pour survivre dans cette jungle. There's no way I'd get in. I'm very nervous, it's a whole new ball game and quite frankly, if, if um, you weren't getting in with me, I doubt that I'd get in at all. So I'm putting my faith and trust in you. Donc voilà. Alors, euh, bah on va se préparer, puis on va, on va y aller. On va aller se promener un petit peu par là. Et puis on va regarder. Euh, on va se mettre, on va allonger les berges, et puis on va avancer. Et dès que, avec un peu de chance, on tombera sur, sur un ou deux. Voilà. through all this papyrus wow. into the water. Okay, we had a big crocodile here, but uh, he left and he's hiding uh, himself in the papyrus, so which makes the dive very difficult because uh, we have very poor vis and we, we don't know, it's quite dangerous. So we rather play safe 
especially the first day. <laughs> we don't want to be eaten the first day. We have uh, some pictures to take, so we will look for another place. The croc just left the bank, and we are going to look for him under the branches in this area. We are going to dive here. We saw this big croc eating a tatunga. Statunga. Statunga, which is a kind of buck, small antelope. And um, he got it underwater. So maybe we are going to see it, maybe not. So that's the dive of the day. Can you open my air, please? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be in air. Okay. Okay. We go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, you can come. What beautiful dives, huh? I was very surprised when I first met the crocodile, and in fact, it's a very uh, shy animal. But uh, maybe it was good uh, not to push or like too too far, you know, because uh, I think it's still risky to dive in that river, especially with these big crocodiles. You know, they wait. They, they are five meters in length, and this is serious wild animal. So, anyway, let's see what is coming next. We almost, Roger and I, almost got eaten by a crocodile. We just stopped the boat and we saw two big crocs on the bank just over there. So, the shot of the day is very simple. 
I'm going to swim on the surface with uh, this camera and uh, Roger is going to film me approaching the box. How do you feel Roger? You're going in alone? Huh? You're going in alone? Yeah, basically I'm alone. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> that's, that's a very crude life of the wildlife cameraman. We are alone and you can't trust even your ba best friend, you know, that's, that's <laughs> terrible, but that's life. I was prepared anyway, so, you know. Just remember, I get the camera if you go. <laughs> ah, okay, so my, my kit will belong to him uh, if, uh, if I don't come back. Okay, let's go. Okay. What's happened there? I saw the croc just at the swimming at the surface in the reeds, turning and coming back straight to me. Oh, oh my heart went very high, let me tell you. And so I did not know what to do. And the only thing I could imagine could be safe is to dive. So I start to go down and look at his direction. And then I saw, I saw the croc coming next to me. I got a huge fright, I swam quickly to you and then you moved in to film the nose and it took all my willpower to actually show myself and get that shot of the croc it was really really big so very very intense and i'm i'm pleased that i'm still here i saw the croc coming next to me and so i filmed and he just finally turned just before he he ate me i mean whew, whew, not to be done every day